Alright folks, welcome back to King's Consoles, here with the month of September's Loot Gaming Crate. A rather thin one as you can see here, it's not that big a box compared to the previous months. Um, I'm actually just going to be filming this, unlike my other videos, because uh, this is really late. I've actually had my payment for October already come out, and um, I usually get this at the start of the month, but whenever like the 16th today of, of October, so September crate, so I'm just going to crack this one open and uh, have a quick look at it. So we'll start off with, I've already pre-opened the box. I oh, kind of see what the t-shirt is already just by looking at the hat. In fact, do you know what? Unlike normal, I'm going to take the t-shirt out first. Quite a small box, but it looks like it's got quite a few things. See Gears of War 4 there, Dark Souls. Mm, don't know what that is. But yeah, let's crack the t-shirt open. So it looks like it's a Pip-Boy t-shirt from Fallout 4. It's quite smart actually, a little bit different design. So I've never been disappointed by a t-shirt yet. This is kind of cool. Unless you know about the game, you really know. It's like all the different skill traits, I believe. I couldn't name them for you. But yeah, it's Vault 101. Little sniper class. Um, I'll see if I can get the whole thing open, actually. I'm doing this one-handed. What? Bethesda t-shirt too? So it's Bethesda. Let's see if I can open it right out. Uh, that'll do. But yeah, so it's just a, a blue t-shirt, which is good. A nice change of colour. And hopefully you can get a little look at all the... Pip-Boy characters. Yeah, that's pretty smart. Nice different design. Uh, see, most if you look at it, if you weren't aware of Fallout the series, you wouldn't have a clue what this t-shirt's all about. But uh, for those of you in the know, it's a little secret nod. So let's get the t-shirt out of the way. Let's get this Gears of, Gears of War 4 thing out. Let's say apologies, this quality is not all going to be as good um, due to me filming with one hand. Did I just see what's on it? It's a look game exclusive. Oh, it's a Mark II Lancer. So I can't make any more this already. Almost like the, um, the Division. That is cool. I'm not a massive Gears of War fan, but even I can appreciate that. Oh, it comes with a stand as well, even better. So that will definitely be going on the little shelf. I'm not going to build up just now. Let's see if we can give it a closer look. You can even see the blood stains on the saw blade. Microsoft 2016. Not really, it's uh, plastic, but oh, I kind of spoiled it with the china. But no, that's cool. I really like that. That looks lovely on the shelf. I appreciate little bits of. It's effectively it's art, um, but I appreciate little items like this to put in the game room. Just put it off to one side. Uh, Dead Rising 4. I wonder what this is. I think it's Dead Rising 4. Is that Frank West coming back again? There, but I don't actually have an Xbox One. Open this off with one hand really hard. I don't know how some people do it. Wait, let's see. Bad filming. Wow, oh, what's this? A pouch. Some Velcro. I love items like this because they've got absolutely no idea. Ah, oh, you can't see in the camera, but it's still there. It's got Frank West into it. Looks like it's a multi tool. And if it is, that's probably one of the coolest items I've seen. And look great. It is too. Oh, Frank West. If you don't know, Frank West is the, the lead character from uh, Dead Rising 1. A game I did play when I had my 360. But yeah, it's like a little. Flick it more to I would imagine there's not a knife in it. Um, but it looks like it's got some pliers, which are come really handy. Oh, how smart is that? Some little pliers. Um, I don't know what else is in there. What's this? Oh, that little torch. Don't know how it works. Uh, I'm kind of looking at it through the, the camera. Should we ever just look at it through the actual... No, I don't know. That looks like a little torch somehow. Maybe some way to take the batteries out or whatever. I don't know. Uh, what's this one here? Yeah, a couple of screwdrivers. Don't think it's a knife blade. I'm sure they can't give you a knife. Let's have a look and find out. Probably somebody's out there screaming. Just use both hands, Dave. 
I think like screwdrivers. That's pretty awesome. Cool. I think that's the favourite. The Lancer was winning so far, but then that seems to have um, taken over. Whew. What else have we got here? Uh, another box wait. Oh, the pin. I forgot about the pin. This month is Battleground. So I can kind of understand Fallout. There's like a skull with a helmet with the Ace of Clubs on there. September 2016. Like I say, I'm getting these pretty late at the moment. But yeah, I love the pins. Looking really good, keeping good quality. Uh, a Dark Souls Legend of the Flame comic, the Titan Comics. On cardboard, what I like to see. I'm not going to open this up, um, but I will give that a little read. I like to see it. I'm not, uh, I don't really, not really play much of the Dark Souls fan. I just probably know somebody would really like this. I might just pass this off to them. Um, but yeah, it's quite good when you get comic books because they're quite slim and they fit into the boxes quite well. And I've got one last thing. Another look great box. Battle Zone. Which I believe has been remade for VR. Um, actually, I was just playing this the other day. If you've seen my, my Game Boy unboxing video, um, well, Game Boy pickups, I had a Game Boy cut that had Battle Zone on it. I was meant to be able to play that. These look like, I think so correctly, shot glasses. Yep, they look like exclusives. Billion. That's smart. Another thing I love, they'll be look good in the shelf. See the enemy tanks. Your score. Are they just stickers? Oh, that looks like it's peeling off a little bit there. Oh, not so good. Oh, wait, no. Oh, that's just a protector. Hey, I was a bit worried there. It just protects the artwork. Nice. wonder if they're both the same. Oh, such a good month. Which is the best? Because I do like these shot glasses. I like the Lancer weapon. From Gears of War. Ah, that one's actually got the battle zone on it. So, if you kind of stand the two of them together. That's cool. So, I still think that this has to be the best item out of the crate this month. Um, I have the book. Oh no, it's a poster. Ooh. Is there a book this month? Or is this a new way of doing it? I don't actually have a book. See, look. It's kind of cool, we've got like a gun rack there. Uh, yeah, it does not appear to be a book this month. But there is... Some posters. Ah, this is really cool. So done away with the book, they put on a poster. Now we've got a, a little game in. We'll stand up for this now. It's got a battle, what was it, World War Two, almost Battlefield One-esque kind of poster. And they put all the information that's not in the game manual on the back of this poster. So there's your Dead Rising Multi Tool. Well, like Vault Boy. I say Pit Boy. It's Vault Boy. Sorry, people probably shout in the video. It's Vault Boy. The Pit Boy is obviously the, the contraption on his arm. Uh, we have the Dark Souls Legends of Flame comic number one, which we'll have a look at. We have a 4.5 inch Classics Lancer replica, Battle Zone shot glasses, and of course our pin. The world is a dangerous place. The battleground coin putting commemorates the falling of the heroes. Blah 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 blah. An epic drop which we didn't get. The next box one S, uh, which has battle for uh, battlefield one. Um, so probably battlefront another one. But that, that's actually oh, I might have a frame that will actually house that. Although mm, I like look gaming, but sometimes it ruins these. Anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Uh, so it's a bit kind of a mismatch, but. Back with the month of October, which most likely will end up getting November. See you later.